So, group 1A. Who do I have in here in my lab? Just a few people. I did a demo last week in lab, didn't I? I used an alkali metal to do that demo, didn't I? <coughs> what happened? It blew. It blowed up. Oh. Right? I use sodium. Metallic sodium reacts with water. What do you think would happen if you put potassium in water? It would dissolve. Sodium blew up when I put it in water. What do you think will happen with potassium when I put it in water? If they're in the same group, it's going to blow up too. Not exactly like the same. Actually, potassium reacts more quickly than sodium does. Rubidium acts faster than potassium. They all blow up in water, but with different rates. Okay? Trying to tear the wall down? You want to escape? It's in a prison, you know. <laughs> the halogens, group 7 or 17. Anybody know anything about any halogens? Anybody ever use any halogens for anything? Lights. For what? Light. Lights. That's where you hear that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Halogen bulbs. For your car. For your car. Or maybe you've used chlorine before. Whoever used, who's used chlorine before? If you have a swimming pool, right? Use it. It's a disinfectant, right? Who's ever used iodine before? Mm -hmm. That stuff you buy at the store, it's normally a mixture, it's a liquid. Iodine, if it's not dissolved, actually is a solid at room temperature. Okay. Bromine is also used like chlorine. It's used as a disinfectant as well. You don't see much fluorine because it's very reactive. Okay. And astatine, AT, is radioactive, so you won't see it. Okay. Can you identify the element that fits each one of these? Oh, we'll do our voting system. Right? A, B, C. So identify the element that is in group seven, period four. Everybody ready? One, two, three, vote. I'm not saying I got the right answer. Yeah, I guess what you said. Group, what, which one did you say? It says group seven, period four. So what do you do? Okay. Group seven. Where's group seven? Way over here, group 7A, right? Period 4. There's nothing in period 1. So period 2 is fluorine, 3 is chlorine, 4 is bromine. Okay? I'm not understanding what you mean is nothing in period 1. Period number 1 doesn't oh, have any elements in group no, 7, does it? It's going across that way. Yes. Okay. There's only two elements in period number 1. Okay. Hydrogen and helium. All right, so group 2A, period 3. Ready, set, vote. I think everybody has it. It's three, right? Yeah. Oh, you had two? Magnesium? Yeah. Group 2A. Yeah. Look at 2A. That's beryllium, magnesium, calcium. Right? Period number three, there's nothing in period number one. Right. So period two and three means it's magnesium. Right. The second one down. <laughs> second one down, you thought, so you thought right. it had to be calcium, not magnesium. No, right? I thought it was magnesium, but I thought you were doing like what number down on the list. On this. No, I'm looking at period three going across. All right, so last one, group 5A, period two. It is ready, set, vote. Well, we got more confusion here. All right, look, group 5A starts what? With nitrogen at the top. What period number is nitrogen in? It's in period two, isn't it? And this is period two, so the answer is nitrogen, right? Phosphorus is in period three, because there's nothing in period one. So, what else can you look at on a periodic table? Well, if you have your book, the one I gave you doesn't have a heavy zigzag line on it. But if you have your book, if you open the inside of the front cover, you'll see a dark line, right? It kind of zigzags over here on the left. 
mine just has these things as colored in. The ones that are colored right here are called metalloids. The ones over on the left hand side of the periodic table are all metals. The ones on the left hand, on the right hand side of the periodic table are non-metals. Okay? So colored ones, metalloids. All the way over here, metals, non-metals up here. What do you think happens? Metals, non-metals, they do what? They react. And we get wonderful things like sodium chloride. Who has any sodium chloride at your house? Who does not, who thinks you do not have any sodium chloride at your house? Who does not have sodium chloride at your house? Do you have some? Do you have some sodium chloride? Do you have some sodium chloride? Yeah. You have sodium chloride? Lots of it. It's table salt, y'all. It's not good for you, but it's good for you. You need it. You do. You absolutely need it. Metals and non metals react together. Okay? So look at the periodic table. What do we have more of? Metals, non-metals, or metalloids? Way more metals. Note that hydrogen, this is hydrogen up here, right? Note that it is a, some periodic tables you will actually see it. Right here. So why is it not right there on one side? Right here. There's different ways of doing a periodic table. There's different reasons for having it in either position. Oh. There's not like one consistent one that everybody uses. Like a Most people put it over there, but there are reasons for putting it right here because it's a not metal. What's the reason for putting it with? It has to do with the electron structure of it. We're not going to get into that much detail here. Yeah, that's good. Just know that you may see it put over on the other side sometimes. Okay? So, anybody know any metals? Anybody ever seen any pure metal before? What does pure metal look like? Anybody ever seen a shiny new penny? It's shiny, isn't it? Do you know anything about metals? What does ductile mean? What does that word ductile mean? Anybody? Not pores. I can draw it out into a wire. Anybody know any metal wires? Anybody ever seen a wire before? <laughs> yes. There's some right there. Yeah, but that's just the outside part. Anybody ever take the coating off the wires and look at them? Of course. You never looked at a wire. We do the stereo <laughs> You never tore anything apart like that looked at? Your dad never did that? You never saw it? No? Yep. They grew up in the never had to the mess with the antennas. Mess, mess. We gotta get you some practice. If you strip those wires open, you will see some shiny metal. Mostly copper. Sometimes aluminum, but most of the houses that were built with aluminum wire did what? Burnt down. <laughs> aluminum it's too hot. Copper is a great conductor of electric. Most metals are good conductors of heat. How do you know metals are good conductors of heat? We learned about specific heat in the last chapter, but anybody ever done any heat transfer experiments with metals? By accident. I do it almost every day. You stick your hand on them, I'll stick it. Your hand's not a metal. Cooking, no, but it's When you cook, you though, it's heat. <laughs> How do you pots know metal? Are, your pots, your pots are, are all made out of metal, aren't they, most people? Mm -hmm. Do they conduct the heat? Yes. They get hot up here to easy, don't they? Yes. And they transfer that heat to the food. Okay. We're getting somewhere, maybe. Non-metals don't conduct electricity. They don't conduct heat. And as opposed to metals, metals are flexible and you can shape them. Non-metals tend to be very brittle. If, they, if they're a solid at all, they tend to be brittle. A lot of the non-metals are gases at room temperature, like oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine, chlorine. They're all gases. Solids like sulfur are quite brittle at room temperature. They don't, you can't do anything with them. They just fall apart. They are insulators. So they don't conduct electricity. They prevent electricity from being conducted. 
The metalloids are kind of in between. The one really common metalloid that you know about is, and where do we use silicon? Computer chips. Breast implants. Huh? <laughs> Breast implants. No. <laughs> Computer chips. Computer chips. All this stuff like this, all this junk here, computers, if we didn't have silicon, we wouldn't be able to have computers, right? We use them to make transistors and computer chips. So, are each of these a metal? Not a metal or metal. Let's just say them out loud. Sodium is a. It's a. Where is it on a periodic table? What element number is it? Where's sodium on a periodic table? What element number? It's an element it's, it's in group 1A. It's element number 11. NA stands for sodium, right? So it is a metal, isn't it? What about chlorine? <coughs> it's a non metal, right? It actually is a gas at room temperature. Where is it at on a periodic table? Right. Element number 17. 17. Silicon. We just talked about silicon. What type of element is it? It's a, it's not a non-metal. It's a metalloid, right? It touches that zigzag line. It's element number 14, okay? What about iron? You shouldn't even need to look for iron. It's a metal, isn't it? We know about iron. What about carbon? It's a non-metal, it's element number six. It's one of the yellow ones on your periodic table in your book. It's definitely a non-metal to the right of that zigzag line. So by transitional elements, what, what does that mean? That means those aren't... That means they're, they're metal. They're metal, but they're not... They're not representative group elements. They are not main group elements, they're not representative group elements, they are transitioning from group two to group three. It's a change, slow change. Okay. That's what transition means, right? Slow change? Yeah, I just thought maybe there was some they're all metals. That's, that's about as good as I'm going to give you. Are you okay over there, shoes? Yeah. Gracious. Next one's a multiple choice question. There might be more than one answer for it. Look at group 4A. Are there any metals in group 4A? Start at the top of group 4A. What's the first element at the top of group four? Sorry, right, is it a metal? No. It's a non-metal, isn't it? What's the next element? Silicon. Is it a metal? No. Nope. Next element. Germanium? No. No. Next element. Yes. What's the name of that element? Tin. Tin, symbol SN. Next element. Lead. Lead, symbol PD. Lead is definitely a metal, isn't it? So 10 and lead. Non-metals in group 5A. Do you ignore the ones on the bottom? The, the, the very bottom, those aren't in that group. Those aren't in that group. They're in different groups. What, on number 7 I'm talking about. Number yeah. 114. Yep. Well, yeah, because nobody the really knows anything about it. It's only been like three out of four Okay. okay. So non-metals in group 5A. Is arsenic a non-metal? You see where arsenic is in group 5A? Yeah. yeah. Is it a non-metal? Metal is a metal. No, it's a metalloid, isn't it? Yeah. What about SB stands for antimony? Is it a non-metal? It's a metalloid. It's a metalloid as well. BI is bismuth. It's a metal. What about N? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Yeah. Yeah. Is a non-metal, right? P is for phosphorus. Non-metal as well. Metalloids group four. Well, we already did group four one at a time. Who, who are the metalloids in group four? Silicon and geranium. germanium. Not geranium. <laughs> We're not growing plants. <laughs> Stinky plants of that, right? 